hello guys and once again welcome to smart visuals tutorial on youtube i appreciate you guys for coming to my tutorial page and youtube channel so today we have a new tutorial with us guys and today we are going to actually create an installation installation uh let's say a dot exe file that somebody can go and execute and install in his computer from your uh netbeans project uh your netbean project you do first you need to to have your netbean project then you compile it to the jar then you create an installation that anybody can use and use in his computer so let us kick off our tutorial of the day first you have to the software that you're going to use is called ino setup let me just show you uh if you don't have ino setup you can click the link below and download the Inno setup from my media fire page so let's start here with netbeans uh, let's program runs the login page appears somebody logs in you've done all the settings the customization and what you actually need is an installation and distribute your project uh, or rather your software so the first step is that you have to make your pro your project the main project so what you simply uh, going to do is that you're going to right click on the left side of the project window you're going to right click it and then you set it as the main project uh, you can see mine is already a main project so you say and set as main projects should be set as main project the next step after setting your project as main project that is if you have so many projects on your left side projects window uh, the next step is that you're going to go to run then what you're simply going to do is that you're going to clean and build main project so you'll click clean and build main project and you can see that on the output window down here you can see some process going on uh, and actually it's compiling our project into one single file that can easily be distributed so after let's say around six seconds or five seconds or three seconds for mine you're going to have this information meaning that uh, your final project actually this is now your project has been compiled into one for mine it's lulu creations dot jar so this is your own project and it is in the distributed folder of your projects folder obviously you want us to confirm if it's actually there and it can work so what you simply do is that you go to where your project is mine is in my desktop so i'll go to desktop and i think it's somewhere here and then creations yes so you'll find this folder here and you go inside the folder you'll find your all project is there so you click it and oops that's your project but most of you guys are not satisfied by giving somebody this small thing you want somebody to install your project and see who are the authors of the project the license file all those stuff so that you can feel yeah you have a really good software these are the uh, i forgot to tell you these are the library all these are the libraries that you used in your project so this is where my inno setup tool comes in don't forget to download the inno setup tool before starting this tutorial so what you simply the first time you run inno setup is going to give you a small car window like this one then you uh, you're going to create a new script file using the script wizard we don't want to do much of the coding so just use a wizard click ok then next then you give your uh, you give your, uh, your software its name the application name then the version then the computer so mine is called lulu creations and then the application version it will be uh, version 1.0 for mine and then the application publisher it's done by smart visuals designers something like that and then if you have a website you can put your website for mine it's smart visuals dot blog dot com uh, 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 don't forget to go to smart visuals com or even my youtube channel so you click next 
and then uh, program files. So this software is going to be installed in the program files. You can see a number of times when you run a program, the main directory that gives you the program files. So this is where you put the settings if you want to be installed in the desktop, but the program files is most suitable because all computers have the program files folder. So this is the application folder name, and then yeah, yeah, you click next. Then now this is where the most you have to be careful. This is the main uh, file that uh, actually run, runs the whole pro, uh, your, your, your software. So you browse it and then you direct it to your the .jar file. So mine was in the desktop, sorry. And then I think it was somewhere here, sorry. Yeah, little creations distribution. Then you can see actually you can't see the .jar file because uh, down here you say that application files only .exe files, but you select all files, and then you're able to see other files. So click the Lulu Creations uh, uh, depending on the uh, projects your pro your project name or your software name. So you click open, and then we have it there. The next thing is that we need to have the libraries uh, be packaged together with our software, so that when somebody installs, you also install the libraries so that the project uh, the software can work correctly. So you add the library folder. But since we want to, we can add all the, the all the distributed folder. So you go to where your project is. Let's do this quick. Don't want to repeat it anymore. And then yeah, here. So we just select the DIST. This one. So we add it, all of it. I click yes. Don't much of that. Next. And then these are simple settings that you can work out them. Uh, license file if you have a license file you want to warn somebody about okay copyright rights something like that you just create a dot txt file somewhere and then you browse and just and select it there sorry having a hard morning today so you click next and then if you are this, this you uh you select the languages in which you want your software to be in so just select english and next and then the output folder now select the folder in which all these compressed files are going to go you can do that in your desktop or any folder you want i can select it okay me i'm going to select it on my folder there so that i have my there. and then the name of the software so that somebody can see the name as installing Lulu. Lulu. creations if you have an icon dot i dot ico file you just browse and select it and you put it there and then you can set up a password for your software so that uh, nobody can just use your software anyhow so you click next and then hooray would you like to compile the new script now would you like to save the script before compiling uh, no so you just wait for it to complete and after some time it will tell you the compilation is finished mm, just be patient and then yep it has finished so what we want to do is that we're going to confirm if our software is actually there i saved mine here you go to the place where the output folder you say that your all its solution should be so this is the lulu creation.exe from the uh, project so i have something like that i'll install it uh, and to install it so that you guys can see Lulu creations uh, like to install the okay i already installed it earlier uh, yes next create a desktop item icon sorry yeah and then install Ooh, so we are having an installation on the file is installing launch it you're able to see and if i run my project sorry mm, uh, sorry uh, i'm going to oh no uh, i'm sorry about that uh, if i run my project let's see if it's going to work if it works a dollar for you guys yes this is my project and it's working and now it's a software i can give somebody to install it but the other thing is okay another thing since you're done you can see i can go through if you guys want to see i created some help files help contents you can be able to see making this online the other thing is that you can add orders you can 
add an order you shirt you create your italian shirt you add these are the guys the orders the measurements so this is simply how you do your work uh, you create an installation file that anybody can use your software and distribute it so mm, i hope you guys enjoy uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and until next time it's bye bye from me uh please subscribe comment rate and any other netbeans tutorial or any other php tutorials just leave a link leave a comment and any sort of the things that i'm going to get back to you so until next time it's bye bye from smart visuals your home of java tutorials